The Union Cabinet has approved a 7,280 crore rupee scheme to promote the manufacture of rare earth permanent magnets. The government says that this is a first of its kind initiative to boost self-reliance. But why now? What prompted the government to take this step and why at this scale? Let's take a quick look. Rare earths are naturally occurring elements that form the building blocks of the modern economy. Vehicles, defense production, healthcare, space tech, clean energy, you name it. Despite the name, these aren't very rare. But what does make them rare in practice is that workable concentrations are uncommon and separating their naturally occurring mixtures is not easy. Now, one country, China, has built complete dominance in this supply chain. It controls more than 85% of the global rare earths manufacturing and refining. And because of this, if China chooses to impose export restrictions, which it did recently, the whole world feels the sting including the US and India. In short, rare earths are not just minerals, they are carriers of strategic power. Now, where does India stand in all of this and where is the cabinet move coming from? According to the Indian Minerals Yearbook of the government, the rare earth resources in India are the fifth largest in the world. Different reports put India's share of global reserves at around 6 to 8%. But that's not saying much because Indian resources are significantly lean when it comes to the grade of quality and also the extraction is long, complex and expensive. And in comparison to China, the Indian resources are far behind in actual results. India currently exports most of its raw or semi-processed rare earth concentrates. This means that we are almost entirely dependent on imports, largely from China, for high-value finished products like rare earth permanent magnets. And these finished magnets are what the latest government scheme is for. According to an EY report, India's rare earth share in the global output is under 0.9%. Now, the cabinet note says that a global bidding process will select five beneficiaries under its scheme to produce these magnets. And that while 6,450 crore rupees will go into the sales linked incentives for five years, 750 crore rupees will be used for capital subsidy to build capacity. But experts and industry watchers have the following reality checks for us. One, it will take at least, yes, at least three to four years to get any sort of meaningful magnet manufacturing capacity. Two, the quality of the magnets produced in India will have to match tough global standards of firms that are already well established and who have high expertise. Three, we mentioned that the quality of Indian reserves is not of very high grade. So, the refining process could be even more complex and costly. And four, just the fact that the scheme has been announced wouldn't mean much if manufacturing and refining are not viable for firms in India.